morning we will be presenting here in Europe the next World of Congress to take place in New York at the UN headquarters and by the New York City Bar Association next July 20th and 21st. The rule of law is what we owe to our children and the generations to come. The rule of law also means equality, equality between men and women. The role of the jury is to recognize and promote women from many continents whose achievements as jurists, often under very challenging circumstances, as we've just heard, epitomize our aspirations for women's equality and the rule of law. So that's a key message. We have to continue to take action, not only for women, but for a better society for all of us. Democracy values each person individually and equally, even if the majority do not. In my view, breaching the glass ceiling in the field of law means exactly that using that achievement to ensure justice and access to justice for all, becoming a voice for the voiceless, and improving the lives of others through law. All of the above highlights the critical need for organizations that defend the rule of law, like the World Jurists Association, by bringing together a unique legal fraternity. Thank you, Ambassador Young, for your leadership and your tireless dedication in favor of human rights, dignity, justice, and equality. I, I'm ready to keep on keeping on. And so I want to thank you uh, for your faith in justice and your willingness to work for peace. And it's a great honor that our engagement is recognized and that in July, a woman, the president Ursula von der Leyen, will travel to the World Law Congress in New York to receive the World Peace and Liberty Award. For 60 years, the association has carried out exceptional work, mobilizing the international legal community in a global campaign to promote governance of laws, not of men, the rule of law, not the rule of arbitrary decisions, authoritarianism, and brute force. Thank you all very much and hopefully see you in New York.